It works. Let's go. What are we doing? Texting, hold on. Uh, right now we're working on a spoiler. Here, look, check it out. Back check you got. Don't mind the wrap, I was just test fitting the wrap. Garbage wrap job right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, this is how it comes with. I drilled that hole, don't mind that, it's just all flat, whatever. Here's the thing, it only comes with that screw, this screw, this screw, which from what I see right now, it looks like it'll bolt straight up to the factory. Pulls up so apparently it's just gonna bolt up through one, two, and then three. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, and over here, some over here, hopefully. Wait. <gasps> Okay, well, okay, we just found out to make these. Okay, these, I somehow thought it was gonna bolt up, so I was completely wrong. These two outer screws, I have to drill holes through here, somewhere here. But the easiest way that I've, my brother found, obviously. Credits to me, because I, uh, I'm a genius. You just drill them through here, just get a drill bit and just drill straight Drill down. straight through. So it's gonna be on this side and that side, and then this one's already factory, so there's no need to worry here's about Here's what that. I'm gonna do. This, this, for, this wire's for the third brake light. I was planning to mount a third brake light somewhere around here, but from the looks of it, it's just gonna look all ugly and sketchy. So I'm like, nope. So what I'm gonna do? Okay, so what I'm doing for that third brake light is I'm a this one. I won't be needing it. All I'm gonna be doing to that splitter is keeping that winter washer fluid nozzle right here. So that's what I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna tape this off, take this out, and it, the wire comes through here. This one right here. So there's that tube hose for that water, and this is the electrical wire. So if I snip it or cut it out, I'll just use this harness right here and tap it into these wires right here and it'll stay fed and I'll wrap this here to here somewhere here and then this is gonna stick to the glass right there garbage my... garbage garbage it's gonna work fine so <laughs> nah, I'll delete that yeah. cool. so what I'm gonna do now as of right now I'm gonna cut that wire and feed that wire into right here and remove that grommet that's on top just so I can have the wire exposed here so I'll get back whenever I'm done with that and show you how it looks <laughs> then what's your girlfriend gonna think? Damn, <laughs> uh, like, my boy, fat and donkey, mm -hmm. <laughs> just like the ceiling. And 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 what is she gonna say about the neck beard? <laughs> I'm dating a damn gorilla. <laughs> exactly, tough and muscular and powerful ownership, bro. <laughs> I just gonna gain muscle, obviously. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, I hate this tape, man. Focus, 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 focus. Is it gonna focus on me? No, because it hates me. Oh, look at that handsome. Ah, ooh. Says it was being a pain. Like, there's a bunch of tape right there, and it goes through the top. So I was like, you know what? F it. And I just yoloed it and cut it, the wires there. And on top, just, I'm gonna put these wires right here. I'm just gonna tuck them in the spoiler. So, what I'm gonna do now is with this right here, I'm gonna use these, this factory plug to plug it to this. The this thing right here, so it will just send the signal right there, and the brake light basically will be done. And all I have to do is just wrap the wires through here somewhere, and then just boop, put the stick on the LED strip. Let me finish this up. I'm I'm just gonna put everything on, lay up the whole wiring for that brake light, and once I'm done, I'll be going on to the next step. Ah, uh, so we're just right now. This guy's just uh, soldering wires. There you go. Won't focus. Let there be fire. Just big drip. Don't matter as long as the wires soldered onto there. And the magic of key string. Look at that. Ooh, ooh la la. Everyone say it with me. Ooh la li. Ooh la ooh. There you go. And that, my friends. Solder thing. Now to test it out. Here we go. Okay, so he has it connected there. Pfft. Factory install. Now we're gonna test it. Now, if everything's well, it should do that. Re blinking and break. That ass! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Let's go! I already see it. Jump. It's right here, guys, if you can see right there. So we're gonna drill through it. So, because that kind of gives you a rough idea where it's gonna be at. Go. So what we're doing now is we're basically doing using uh, we're punching in to see where the holes go. So he poked it through 
the outside first. Once it popped out, he pokes it back through the inside. So he can put that divot in there and drill through it. All right, so we just ran into an issue, or I did, where I, that right there, this whole, right here, this one, the big, that's the biggest drill bit I got, is that size. So I need a big one, because this thing won't go through there. But that's, we're gonna go to the store and see what we can find, because, I mean, I kind of want to get this mounted already, and then after that, just to put everything in. And I'm just still waiting on the wrap, so. Check it, check it. Oh yeah, look, this is how it's gonna look like. I totally forgot. So that's the wing. I mean, obviously when it's colored, it'll, or wrap, when I wrap it, it'll look better. But that's the wing right there. I've seen other people that put that duck bill, or does the wicker bill. I, in my opinion, I don't like that style because it just doesn't flow with the car because it's just like straight like that and then just a flat piece of thing. It doesn't actually flows with the car, goes like that and then it just, it's like an actual duck tail. So, that's the reason, look at that, add me. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna have to cut that window tent to make the LEDs shine through the way I want it to. So, we're gonna go to the store and we'll head back. Anyways, brand new day, it's a Saturday. Uh, it's the next day, so, so far what we've done it's gonna get the for the washer fluid the nozzle, which is there. Basically, we're trying to replicate that into the new spoiler. So, oh, and then this is what I did. This is in a one-inch hole. I just did that for I could put the washer fluid here, the nozzle here, and somehow come out through there. So I'm gonna make another hole for me to put my finger and try to. So this matches for here for this nozzle, which obviously it's just gonna go to the washer fluid nozzle. Yeah, okay, either way, this hole right here, in case y'all are wondering, it's a uh, 7 16 hole. So that's the exact size compared to that one over there. So that's what I'm gonna do. And right now, I'm gonna use some a small drill bit to make like notches. To just, like you said, to replicate it. So, okay, guys, so we just finished putting up or cutting up the nozzle part. You can see the little candy shape matches that over there. So now, look, I'm not gonna push it all the way in because we don't have a way to take it out if we do put it in. But it just slides in, twist, and it should pop into place. And we should be good! So, basically to remove the, I'm doing this so I can remove it and install it again if I ever need to do this again. Or if I need to uninstall it for some whatever reason. So that's the hole that goes here, as he said. This is the hole I made for me to be able to actually like, put the thing in the nozzle. And what I'm going to do now, to make the extend this a little more, that we could get some pliers in here to squish that washer fluid in case I ever want to take this off. Right, so now what we're doing now, what I'm doing, is putting this weather strip. Just a random universe, I'll show you what I got in case. Oh, well it's just this, honestly. It's nothing too big, you can get it at your hardware store. It's just rubber seal. And then just like that, we got a wither seal. Then when I wash my car, we won't get water in here. All right, so that's that. Now I gotta put another right here. Across here, that's what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is, over here, just to show you what the whole deal is, there's the Jupiter and there's these two metals right here. And so when I'm handling, when I'm trying to aim it right at the holes, you're putting the holes right here for the nut, or for the screw to go into, and the screws. Thing is, this washer won't fit like that. It's gonna be crooked. What I have to do is maneuver the screw like this, and make that washer get in there. So basically for the washer to go in here, like that, halfway, and then put the screw in. So that's what you're having to do over here. So what I'm using is the screw driver here to hold the screw in place and something else through here where it's probably a panel bubble would come in handy as you can see it'll fit through here and then you can see it squeeze into there and so i just maneuver that maneuver that washer to get into place same thing i'm after on this side so okay so i just told my brother to try it out it works let's go all right dude you're good all right look at that all factory just that nozzle right there and we're good to go now all i need to do is put that strip led strip right, so what i'm doing now is putting this okay so here's that strip right here can you see it it's like this red i got it off amazon if i find it i'll link it if not then you know, try to find it yourself all right so i cut it out just so the leds are more visible because yeah i want more visible when i break took this one right there just like that and i forgot what inch 
how many inches I got this to be, but I got it long enough. So I don't have to worry about lining it in the middle. That way it just runs across the whole thing. Cause you see this popped out way more than this side. I mean, but just gonna show. So now, so now this comes with the, this came with this. So I soldered earlier to the factory um, brake, third brake light plug that connected from here, I went through here and connected somewhere right here. This will hook onto that. Just like factory, this will slide in here somehow. I forgot how, but first I'm gonna test it out. All right, go. Yeah, that's more brighter. It's way more brighter. So that's it. I mean, see, see how it kind of tucks in through there. I mean, it doesn't bother me much. Almost now what? Like you're not excited about it. Huh? Cause it looks kind of funky. Look, look at it. Come look. It looks fine. I just saw my head. I envisioned it more than there. I just didn't want the glass that much. Yeah, I know. I didn't want the glass was turning that much. Here's where I routed the thing. The factory harness goes through here, and that's a little driver. I zip tied the rest of the wires here. This wire goes through here, which goes to the top, right here. Goes through here, and then here, to the LEDs. And that's all. I'm gonna leave it like that, because I'm waiting for my wrap to come in. Before I install everything back, so I'm waiting for my wrap, and then I should be able to install, uninstall, and install this again. Just this time, it's gonna be color matching the car. All right, well, I'm out of here. I already finished the install, as you can see. It's done. Now, I'm just going to wait for my wrap to come in, and then I'll wrap the thing, and it'll be color matched, but overall, that's how I did it. That door just locked itself. Everything works. When you wash the fluid, works. For the rear. I'm actually glad the way it came out. It's, it's, it doesn't look... Ooh, that little part might bother me. I might be able to see that. All right now, I'm noticing that there's a red light, like the brake light, the third brake light is going to... I can see it through here. So what I'm probably gonna do is put some type of weather strip right there so it can block it from me seeing it here. It's, it's a simple fix, I'll just... I'm gonna go drive it up front and I'll see you in a bit. And these are the measurements. People were asking me for the measurements. But well, that's it right there. I'm gonna put pause if you wanna see it. And then now I'm just gonna sand it and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit just with the, with the sandpaper wheel just to clean up the edges so it could be smooth so it won't be all edgy and after I'm done with that um, I'm going to sand it body fill the hole right there, that little hole right there you can see then I poked through it when I was showing this hole, you got to be careful with that and yeah the reason I'm going to sand down that those holes because look it's like cutting off this thing it's like making it, I don't know, I don't want to prevent this leaking in here so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, here's the weather strip I put. This is actually does a good job doing or sealing it. So I'm glad with this, how this turned out. All right, well, I just left uh, the house, so I don't have a car. But if y'all like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If it, you find it useful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more videos. Uh, I'll be posting more often now. Till the next one. Bye.